You got pumpkins? We need to get rid of those, huh? We need we need to do our pumpkin rolling again. We're rolling down the hill. That was so fun. We need to get the little ones up here and we'll do it again. Oh well, it's here. Big, big weekend. We got soccer, we got St. Jude event, we, more soccer, just a lot going on. It's crisp right now, but it's gonna be beautiful today. It's gonna be like 70 a day, perfect. Tomorrow's gonna be very interesting. They're expecting rain now for the race. Yeah, just it's just gonna be it's gonna be a good time though, no matter what. Huh, Marks? What are you gonna do? You gonna hold down the fort while we're gone? You are, huh? All right, we have got to head west now. We gotta go Murfreesboro first, then we gotta go to Memphis, then we gotta go, we got a lot to do. Good to go? You ready? Good to go. You excited? I'm excited. It's finally here? Yeah, I don't know if I trained well enough, but. That's all right, we got we'll this. find out. It's a fancy little basket right there. Okay, it's a Fred's Roast basket. Looks a lot like some other place's basket. Nope. Mace, what are you doing? You gonna hold down the fort while we're gone? You gonna hold down the fort? You wanna go run? You can go run with us, you wanna go run? I don't think you'd do very good running. All right, we all ready? It's a big, big weekend. We got a little bit of a drive, so we will pick back up in uh, Percy'sboro. See ya. All right. Drop Taylor off soccer field. She's good to go. We got her checked into the room. We were gonna just try to let it be the digital key, do its thing. Just something like. Well, and she's all by herself. Cause... She's gonna be by herself for 24 hours, basically. I want her to have her room set up and done so she could just go and not have to depend on another parent, really. Grandpa can attend. Yeah, so Grandpa was coming, but Grandpa is definitely not feeling well. Took all of us to petition him to go to the doctor, which he finally did. And he would never miss soccer. No, he especially loves he loves these ones, especially the big ones, the ECNL showcases, which we'll show you all. And then when we get back out here tomorrow and Sunday, it's a huge event and uh, it's a fun event too. So that's good. We got her dropped off. Two and a half hour drive out here. Dropped her off. Got the hotel checked in. Plus, you get breakfast and stuff with the hotel. So I wanted to make sure we got those vouchers so she's taken care of, because I just, I don't know. We don't like to rely on other people to attend to our kids. No, and I mean, we have plenty of people that we could definitely lean on and they'd be more than happy to help, but I just feel like, I don't know, I like having that responsibility and just that box checked. So there's no issues. We checked our boxes. So we're yeah, good. we're good. So now, three and a half hour drive and we head out to Memphis. We continue west on the adventure. 73, it is beautiful outside. These past few days have been a blessing in Tennessee. They've just been fantastic. Yeah, so three and a half hours, we'll get to Memphis. We'll save y'all uh, save y'all some time and just pick you up there. You underestimate how big Tennessee is lengthwise. What do we say, 430 something miles across from Memphis all the way over to Johnson City or whatever, 430. California is 700 something straight up and down. So imagine if you took Tennessee, California is still bigger. Yeah, we're in Memphis, I'm excited. We're gonna go to the expo. All these folks are leaving the expo. It's over here in the convention center. Go get our bibs, our packet pickups, see what the, uh, I don't know, see what they have there. And then uh, we gotta hurry up and we gotta go to the, to the the ducks. To the Peabody. Because Babs has built up the duck thing immensely now. And now I am very excited to go see the ducks. And I do not want to miss them at 5 o'clock. So we got an hour and 20 minutes. Got some cool stuff, huh? Yeah, that's it's nice. so cool, like seeing all the stuff in there and just all the kids and just man, they treat you—they they treat you so good in there. They—it's like 
I don't know, we just raised some money on YouTube and, you know, wanted to go to a good cause and they treat you so special. It's the coolest thing. You the know? gold members, you raise a lot of money. That's all right. But we're just people just trying to give back to kids. So it's just, it's the least we could do. So I'm very excited. Uh, got that done. We're going to go to the Ducks, hopefully. We're going to go to the Peabody Hotel. It's, we're going to check in our hotel right across from AutoZone Park where the finish line will be. And then Peabody is just down a block or so. It's where we're gonna have the pasta dinner tonight. Y'all are gonna meet Ray. Like, I'm so excited. But we're a little we're a little crunched on time right now. We've got 30 minutes to get to the hotel park and get over there. And we'll just go straight over to the ducks. Yeah. Deal with checking in later. Let's go. Okay, we just found a random we're parked at the Peabody Hotel parking. Thing can get into ours. I don't get why we can't get into ours because it's all blocked off. So we're gonna have to go there. So whatever, we gotta pay a little bit extra to park here, that's fine. Babs wants to see these ducks. So we've got to see the ducks. We have 12 minutes to see the ducks. We gotta go Peabody. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow the ducks. Okay. The best, <laughs> they come out of this elevator right here and they're gonna walk to the fountain. Mr. Will, yes. Somebody asked you, what do you do for work? How do you explain this? Other than being a secret service for the ducks, I'm a security supervisor. I like it. Okay, so you couldn't see this from where we were at, but they're in this little fountain and they swim around this fountain out here. So they swim around, they come in, swim around, and then go back out, right? Okay, so Babs, I, I doubted your ducks at first. Hey, they've been around a long time. But it's kind of funny. What was it 90 years? 90 years. 90 years the ducks have been doing that. And it started with some, it was a general manager and here that went hunting. And they and thought they could bring their live decoy duck. So back in the day, you could actually have like a live decoy duck. So they thought they could bring it and they ended up putting it in, in that fountain. And they hired a circus animal trainer to train the ducks. And it became a thing. All right, so we only have valet at our hotel. We parked at the Peabody parking, which is right across the street. Looking at our parking lot, and there's only one entrance exit out of it, and it's right where the race ends. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be a little congested and busy tomorrow. So the 24 hour rate at the Peabody Hotel is only 26 bucks. Our valet is 28, so we're just going to stay here. I don't know, I'm kind of weird like that. I like to have an easy entrance exit. Did you good? Saw your ducks? Good. It's kind of weird because huh? we have technically two rooms for two the exact same nights in two completely different cities. So there's lots of room keys on here. Okay. You get to pick your rooms out and stuff. I picked this one because this will be kind of cool once everything's done because we finish right there and this will be all the runners. And we're going to get ready for dinner. Take y'all to dinner with us and then uh, meet Ray and we'll continue. All right, gear drop. Let's see about it. Look at that. Schnazzy. Awesome. I love when shirts or jackets do that. What did the lady say to you when you got it? She goes, here's your thing, Babs. Babs. All right, so we got, so we got this. That's a cool, look at that. This is cool to run in too. That's a really cool shirt, the 20, 20 year. We got dark chocolate for Mackenzie. We'll save that one. That's a cool one. Program, add these on. We're running for Ray and all the kiddos. So, in, so somewhere mid 75 hard, I emailed St. Jude. Um, it had to be October. Maybe it was beginning of November, I don't know. The email. And I was trying to change to a marathon. He's crazy. 
like originally we're doing the half, but I was like, you know what? Like we've raised so much money. There are so many awesome people out there that have donated. I'm just gonna go the full extent. Like I gotta max it out. But then it was weird because they only emailed me a week ago and they said, hey, the race is sold out. We can't change you. And I was like, I, I tried to do this a long time ago when it wasn't sold out. Long story short, we're still running the half. So um, that's okay. We're still gonna go give it our all and do everything for these kids and just, I don't know, I'm just gonna sit. I don't know, are you running with headphones? I don't know if I'm running with headphones. I bring my headphones. I think I'm gonna keep my ear pods out, which I normally run to music because I hate hearing myself breathe. But they talk about all the families and everyone that comes out and tailgates and just hangs out and cheers you on. And then you run through the campus like, I kind of want to soak it all in. I don't want to have so. I don't know what I did. It's hard though, because when I did San Francisco and I had cancer, that one was hard not to make fun Because it was right after we just lost grandpa. Yeah. I don't know. We're running, to, like, we're going to run together. We're running together. We're not going to separate, like, we. I didn't have anyone to run with that. That's so true, you did it by yourself. That one was hard. But we're gonna be running side by side. Like I'm just I'm not trying to go out here and kill a killer time. In that one. I think I'm gonna run without it. I don't Probably. I don't need the motive like there's gonna be enough motivation out here on this course with all these little kids and just Ray and everything else y'all have done. I think we're good without it. So I'm, I'm so excited. We're gonna go have some pasta. We gotta go over there an hour early, right? It's five thirty. We got an hour. Uh, we'll get we things situated. Get Thirty minutes. So very cool course, even with the half, we're running where uh, oh, the, MLK was assassinated. So when we went to Brushy and James Earl Ray that escaped from there, that assassinated him, uh, it's kind of kind of weird because it's kind of come full circle. Now we're seeing the other side of it, like the motel he was shot at where he was on the second floor talking to some, he came in, I think it was in April, it was it right before Easter? Yeah. But he was on his balcony and then James Earl Ray shot him from across the street really really cool to like run by all this history that's in memphis i mean obviously you got graceland you got so much music and food here that we're not going to see but you also get to run through st jude campus which is going to be that's going to be the coolest part probably and then you get up through some of these neighborhoods where they say everyone's just lying in the streets that lives there and just clapping for you and stuff obviously we're bringing y'all along this is gonna be weird running with a gopro but i'm gonna do it because i just want to i feel like i need to bring y'all along because you were such a big part of this so all right We'll get ready for a dinner now. All right. Here we got the official Team Ray of Sunshine. Look at that. Sam made these for us. Got that. Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> Babs, your duck obsession is out of control. It's a baby duck. So you guys in, again, 2019, raised 12.5 million dollars, 12.3, here's 12.3, an all-time record. And when we get to the end here, I think I'm gonna tell you that we're poised to be really close to that, and I might need your help to push us over because I like to set records, don't you guys? You like to set records? Okay. There's an amazing St. Jude family here tonight whose son is a patient in St. Jude, the Hammers, who are right over there, I do believe. I'm putting out this family amongst many St. Jude families in this room because we were able to track that it was their family's fundraising donation that actually crossed the $100 million mark. So the Hammers, please stand up. Okay. We got, we got Ray. Ray and I have matching koalas now, huh? Or what do we call them? Koala fence? Is it an elephant or a koala? Koala. It's a koala, right? So this is Ray. This is this is everything we're here for, right? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Do you love St. Jude? Yeah. We all love St. Jude, right? Yeah. That was fun. I'm glad you came to dinner. Glad our koalas got to play. You gonna see each other tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, well we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. You ready to run a race tomorrow? As ready as I'll ever be. How was that dinner? That was awesome. The dinner is so good. Those dinners are so cool because you have people that speak, you know, on behalf of St. Jude, but then they had a mother speak who had lost a child, you know, and she spoke and it just, it hits you hard, you know, because they talk about the survival rate going from 20 when they first started up to 80 
but that's still four out of five children making it, but there's still one that's not. And that mom was a mother of one that didn't. And it hits, it hit you. I mean, you really feel it. And like Nate was, you know, he's like, wow, that kind of puts some different stuff into perspective, you know? And obviously they're, they're very blessed that, that Ray's doing as good as she's doing right now. And um, that's just, you're gonna see purple armbands tomorrow. You're gonna see yellow armbands tomorrow. And that's all, you know, like the family, that's crazy. I was telling Babs about it in the car on the way here, that there was a family that they had, they finally raised over a hundred million dollars for St. Jude. And the family was at one of the events the other night. And they were part of that team of the donation that put them over the hundred million. So it was kind of a big deal. They were the ones sitting right behind us. Like it was so cool. We were talking to them and their son it was going through chemo. He has a couple more on his arm. And his final thing was on the 17th, I think. Yes. And he gets to come home for Christmas. Like it was just so cool having them there and obviously Nate, Sam and Ray there and just bringing this whole thing full circle and I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. We're going to we're going to put all those dollars, all those coins, all those dollars, everything to work tomorrow. We're going to have some fun. So that is it. We're going to get some sleep. We can't say how much we appreciate it. Thank you all enough. We appreciate everyone for all the donations. It, no matter what was it was five bucks to a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks to whatever the team made we're over eleven thousand i know but from the bottom of our hearts it means a lot and just i don't know you know if you got kids hug them hug those babies you know that is it from west tennessee memphis y'all